Hi everyone, Martin Hazy, Lord Mayor from the City of Adelaide. Great to see you. Here's today's wrap up for day two of the trade mission to China. Earlier today in Qingdao City, I spent time with the media. I spent time with Qingdao TV, radio and newspapers. Because what I was doing was I was elaborating on yesterday's very exciting announcement about the Royal Adelaide Club, which is a business backed by Adelaide entrepreneurs and the Qingdao Beer Festival, which is the world's second largest beer festival, which is held in August this year. And it's a terrific collaboration of which we're very appreciative of the government's support. Secondly, I then had a meeting, a protocol meeting, with the Mayor of Qingdao City, whereby we reflected upon what we had achieved together over the last 12 months. And then over lunch, we laid down plans for what we're going to work on over the next 12 months. And the key areas of focus, which are very exciting, are Adelaide and Qingdao working together on tourism initiatives, education initiatives, bilateral trade initiatives, some uh, cultural exchanges, and also climate change. Climate change is important to not only the city of Adelaide, but it's just as important to China. We've got some great expertise in Adelaide, and it's quite clear from this trip. It's not just about what we grow, it's also about what we know. So what we're now seeing is not only agricultural and aquaculture exchange between South Australia and Shandong province, but also this growth in the knowledge economy between both of our cities. So that's why education and tourism and medical and research, these are the key areas which our friends in China are looking to Adelaide for solutions. And that's what we do incredibly well in the city of Adelaide, and we want to share that. We want to turn our knowledge into an export commodity. We want to turn our intellectual property into an export commodity. And this is exactly the discussion that I was having today with Mayor Zhang from Qingdao. And I also got a chance to practice some of my Chinese, which I've been learning for the last six months. So that's today's wrap up. We also saw, just tonight, a game with the Adelaide 36ers and one of the local Shandong uh, basketball teams. And that was an exciting game, and I'm pleased to say that the 36 is won. So go South Australia, what a great outcome. That's the wrap up for day two. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye for now.